Welcome to class. Um, let's start in a child's pose. Please make your way there. Thank you for showing up here to class and hope you can still have a good flow even though I sh of the tech issues here. So go ahead and sit your hips down to your heels. Find your child's pose. Steady your breath. Inhales in through the nose. And then exhales out through the nose. Full breath in. Cleansing breath. So continue on just as you are. I'm trying to sit the hips further back into the heels and trying to rest your forehead down. And just observing what's around you, just breathing. Continue to settle in for another few moments here. And then inhale, rise up to all fours. Start to find your cat and cow here. Inhale, lift the tailbone, lift the base for cow pose. And then exhale, round your back for cat. And invite yourself to create your own movements there in your cat and cow. Just observing areas in your back or your shoulders, your neck that feel tense and tight. Really making those movements nice and full. And then start to add a few hip circles here if you haven't yet. Just getting into our hips. Send the hips up to your downward facing dog. Elevate those hips high and then start to pedal it out. Bend one knee, bend the other knee. From here, hopefully you have this steady breath in and out through the nose. And just start to compress your chest towards your thighs and then keep those arms nice and straight. And then hold stillness in your down dog, feeling the calf stretch, energizing your arms, energizing your quads. Inhale, look forward, walk forward. Exhale to your forward fold. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Then rise here, lift the arms overhead. Take one hand to one elbow and then the other hand on the other. So interlace your elbows above your head. Nice, there we go. And then exhale, bend your knees. Let's curl down to the right side. Creating a circle there, rise up. And then down towards the right. So just loosening up here through your back, through your shoulders, your neck, your hamstrings, your hips. When you reach the bottom, just hang heavy, perhaps sway side to side or any other movements that feel good. And then from here, we'll switch. Bring your other forearm on top, circle the other direction. So reversing your movement here. Inhales to rise and then exhales to fold forward and down. Remember, you can bend your knees as much as you'd like. Good. All right, inhale, lift the chest, and then reach the arms high, stand tall here, arms wide. Exhale, back bend. Hopefully your feet are hips with distance, and then goal pose to arms. Inhale, elevate the arms, and then exhale, a back bend again. 
opening up there through the chest. Nice. Inhale, lift. Exhale to your back bend. Inhale, elevate. Interlace the hands. We'll take a side bend to the right. Inhale, center. And then lift it up and over to the left. Good. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, fold forward. Let it go. Halfway lift. Inhale. And then exhale, step to your plank pose. Hold here for about five breaths. You try to Press the ground away, but stack your shoulders over your wrists. Two more breaths. Nice work. Lower the knees, lower all the way down to the chest. Go close to your arms just as you are on your chest. Good. And then stack your left hip over your right hip and allow a chest stretch here. So. Stack your left hip over the right, and then hold onto the floor with your left hand. You, and then you have a choice here. You can stretch out that right arm fully, or you can keep it in that, in that folded position. Nice, Melissa, good. Breathe. And then bring it down to the center. Then we'll switch. So go post your left arm. Stack your right hip over your left. If that's enough of a stretch for you, you can remain. If you want to change it up, extend the arm, fully straighten out. So feeling out where the stretch is for you here. Good. Bring it down. Take the hands by your sides. Inhale, lift it up for King Cobra. Keep your, you can keep your legs on the ground. Shine the chest forward. Then exhale, slowly lower. Two more, inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. One more, inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. Tuck the toes, tuck the knees, lift it up, downward facing dog. Okay, hold strong here. Try to flatten out your palms, especially those knuckles, and then maybe even your heels. Press your chest towards your thighs even more. Inhale, lift forward and exhale, walk it to the middle. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold and rise it on up again. Rise, arms overhead. And then this time we'll interlace our hands behind our head. Stand tall in the legs, inhale, breath. On the exhale, lean back into a back bend, holding onto the skull here. Little sips of air. And then exhale, rise. Curl in, knees and elbows to the center line. Good. And then inhale, rise up. Open all the way. Elbows to the sides, chest open, breathe, lean back. And then go ahead and bend those knees. Curl in. A few more here. Inhale. Unlock the spine, find your back bend, and then exhale, bring it in. Good. Rise up, stand tall, arms overhead, and then this time we'll take an open twist to the right. From here, from your open twist, hold on to your, your right hand to your sacrum, and then find a half exalted kind of back bend here. Reach the left arm high, find a bit of a twist there through the body. And then bring it in. Inhale, open twist to the left. Yes, keep your left hip forward, then left hand to your sacrum, and then lift the right arm high. Big kind of twist slash back bend here. And then slowly bring it in. Good, interlace the hands behind you. Inhale, chest expansion. On the exhale, bend your knees, forward fold. Let your head and neck hang heavy. Allowing a chance here for your shoulders to open. Just breathe steadily here. Take the hands to your shins, halfway lift. And then exhale, forward fold. Nice work. Inhale, rise. Stand up tall. Exhale, hands to your heart space. 
And then we'll find our eagle arms here. So wrap your right shoulder underneath, or rather right elbow underneath your left. Nice, there we go. And then interlace your hands or hold onto your shoulders. Then when you're ready, tuck your chin into your chest. And then slightly look up to the ceiling. Exhale, chin into your chest. And then rise, keep doing this. Exhale, so lower. Inhale, so lift. Good, two more. Lower. Lift. Last one, exhale. And, okay, keep the arms. Look over to the right side. And then look over to the left. So take a few kind of neck stretches here. Then from here, look forward, sit down into your chair pose, bring your feet together, and then we'll find your right leg on top, finding your full eagle pose. It's a big stretch there for the back, a bit of a chest, but mostly back extension. You can hold your right toes on the ground if you'd like. Sit a bit deeper. And then slowly unwind, reach the arms high, big stretch. Then circle the arms back behind you, letting that go, observing any cracking, any sounds, and trying to find the biggest range of motion for your arms. All right, then inhale, lift the arms in front of you, just directly in front. Go close to arms. All right, then from here, palms will travel down until your elbows are at your shoulder height. Yeah, good, that's it, Josh. Inhale, open up, and exhale down. A few more, inhale, open, exhale down. One more, inhale, open, down. The next inhale, big earth hug, circle the arms, and then exhale, curl in, giving us a big hug, round in, maybe a full forward fold here. When you're ready, slowly rise up, arms over your head. And then we'll go through that left side. So left arm underneath. Finding your eagle arms, holding on to your shoulders or just crossing at the hands. And then starting with that lowering and lifting again. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Go at your own pace. And then just kind of releasing any tension there. Try to relax your jaw. Two more. Last one. And then from here, look over to the left side and then to the right. Just notice if there's a side that is more tense or a little bit sl slighter Small, smaller range of motion. Good. And then from here, you'll begin to sit back down. Lift your left leg this time. Cross it over. Find your eagle legs. Think of lifting the elbows up. Think of sitting the glutes back. And you can always rest your right toes onto the floor. Slowly unwind, inhale, reach the arms high. And then this time go close arms again in space. And then from here, you're going to try to move your entire arm unit back. So just finding that chest expansion. So from here, move it back, exhale forward, inhale back and exhale forward. Take a few more. Just helping those posture muscles Try to move your hand and your elbow just in that same line. Two more. Nice, all right, stay in that kind of back bend shape. So allow your chest to pop forward and then straighten the arms down and then bend at the elbows. You want your elbows behind your rib cage a bit as you straighten and bend. As you do this, tuck the chin in. So finding 
that really nice elongated back of the neck. Take a few more here, trying to bring the elbow behind your ribs. And then interlace your hands behind you, widen the feet, find a big chest expansion, and exhale to your core, fold with the plank again. Make sure your feet are wide. Take a few breaths as you are. Make you an option here is to bend your knees if you'd like. And then take your hands to your hips, slowly rise. All right, adding on. So from here, take your hands to your hips, look straight forward, and then we will do a few neck tucks. So try to keep your head lifted above your neck and your shoulders, and then you'll slightly just tuck your chin like you're creating a little bit more space there, and then forward. So slight chin tuck, and then forward. Another option for your hands, you can just interlace behind you. So go ahead, it's very small movement. Chin tuck and up, a few more. It's very subtle. You can even rest your arms by your sides. Just trying to lean back here at the chin, the nose, so that you're kind of lengthening the back of your neck. Take a few more. One more. All right, inhale, reach up. This time, widen your feet as wide as your mat. Heels in, toes out, and then exhale, lower all the way to your cross pose. Hang out here for a moment. We're gonna incorporate some more movements, but just letting your hips relax and open up. Take your inner, or your elbows to the inner knees. Then inhale, stand straight up. Exhale, hands, fingertips to the ground as you find your frog pose. You don't have to go all the way down. Good, inhale up, and then exhale, hips down, a few more, inhale up, and exhale lower, good, two more, up, take it down, nice, one more, up, and then release, good, rise up, bring the feet together, arms up overhead, and then this time we're adding on. So lift your right elbow up in space, hold on to your right elbow with your left hand. Once you have that grip, you'll look to the right and start to find your side bend to the left. Just breathe here, stack your hips, stack your shoulders over your hips and your hips over your heels. Nice inhale center, and then we'll switch. Bend your left elbow, hold on to it, look to the left, and then take your side bend to the right. Stay strong in those legs, spread your toes. And inhale upright. On the exhale, chair pose, but then halfway lift in the chair. So just sit back, find your halfway lift. So it's almost like a halfway lift with your knees bent. There you go, inhale, stand up. Exhale, bend your knees, bring the chest halfway, arms back. Inhale, rise. And exhale, bend the knees. Good, two more, rise. Exhale, forward, bend those knees, halfway lift, use your core. And then last one, inhale, rise. Exhale, forward. Okay, then stay here. And then start to bring your palms in together for four, three, two, and one. Rise up. There we go. And then adding on. So we're going to make it a little bit deeper this time. Bend the right elbow. Touch the back with your right hand. And then from here, you can take your left hand and lift it up and try to capture your hands. If not, you can hold on to your strap. So you're just going to try to catch something. If you can't catch anything, you will just hold on to your back. So take a few breaths there. Nice. Keep your nose pointed forward. 
It's a lot in the tricep stretch, a little bit of a back bend here. And then slowly you'll release, arms out to a T. You can kind of take any amount of movement as you wish, and then we'll switch. So lift your left elbow. You take a hold of your left elbow now, or your right hand will go to the back. And then, like I said, you will try to grip your fingertips together. If it doesn't reach, this is that cow-faced pose of grip with the arms. Then you want to listen to your shoulders and your joints, never overdoing it. And try to point your left elbow up to the sky. And then slowly release. All right, good. Shake out the arms. So take your circles with the arms. And then we're going to add on. So from here, another quick inter interlace the hands into a back bend. And we'll switch. So lift the right elbow. Remember, if you didn't have a grip, you'll just hold on to your shirt or your back like this. It doesn't need to be precise. Okay. If the grip is really far away, you'll just kind of let go of it. Full inhale, bend your knees, and then exhale to your halfway lift in the shape. If you wish to use a, a strap instead, that's fine, but this also works without your hands holding onto each other. Good. A few breaths. Make sure your toes are lined up. And then inhale and rise. Shake it out. Let it go. Maybe. Do this motion with your arms and then we'll switch. So lift your left elbow overhead and then that right hand will try to look for it. Your shirt, your sports bra, anything that's there or your fingers. If you're right-handed, this side's going to be a little bit tighter and then vice versa if you're left-handed. Full inhale, bend those knees, fold forward and then find your halfway lift. Remember, if it causes any pain at all, just lower that right hand away from the left hand. Breathe, bend your knees, still find that halfway lift in the chest, and then slowly rise. Good work. Alrighty, so from here, release, you circle the arms, take it a few more times here, and then we'll sit down into your frog pose. Sorry for the, Leslie, so sorry for that. <laughs> I'll explain after. <laughs> Full inhale, and then exhale, just stand straight up. Find your forward fold. Hold on to your ankles. And then feel, just notice if you feel more spacious in the upper back. In your arms. Take the hands to your hips, lift it on up. All right, from here, sit down into your chair pose, bring the feet together, arms back. So keeping in line with what we've been doing, which is kind of opening up the chest, stretching out, inhale, stand straight up, arms high, lift up onto your tippy toes. And then from here, slight tuck in that chin, stay with it. Exhale, sit all the way back. Think of your glutes being the furthest part away from you. And then inhale, stand straight up. Lift those heels, lift those arms. Cinch your waist. Just keep lengthening. Exhale, sit back. Good, two more. Inhale, lift up onto the tippy toes. Elevate those arms. Tuck the chin elongate the body and then exhale sit down you got one more last one really trying to balance lift those heels elevate those arms look forward your nose is pointed forward and then exhale sit back really good all right inhale stand up exhale forward fold all the way down halfway lift lengthen and then exhale, take your chaturanga or head straight back, your down dog. All right, good work. Lower the knees. 
So we did this earlier, but we were standing up, inhale, reach the arms. And then find your open twist, so start with the left, left arm back, right arm forward. And then bring your left hand to your sacrum, just turn up and over to the side. Inhale, center, and then open up, exhale to the right this time. Right hand to your sacrum, left arm up and over. Good, start slowly, inhale upright, and then exhale, have a seat. Take the fingertips behind you, lift the chest, sternum overhead. And then exhale, rise up onto the shins. Good, inhale the arms up. All right now we're adding on. So opened up the chest a lot. From here, the left hand goes to the mat, takes any amount of back bend slash twist and then rise up, other side. Using that halfway lift motion we did, but the other way, one more on each side. And then slowly return down, tabletop. Good, find your cat and cow, round your back, cat pose. Inhale, cat cow. Exhale, round. And inhale. All right, puppy pose. Rest your palms. Your forehead doesn't have to touch. Just open up your underarms, your chest. We are going to take it a little bit deeper now. A few more breaths. And then slowly rise. Okay, good. Then. From here, have a seat. We'll take it to our right side, figure four. Right ankle on top of your left thigh. Once you're there, take your palms, face them away from you, and then try to pull your chest forward. So finding the maximum amount of hip stretch that you can there. Okay, one more breath. And then slowly interlace your hands around your shin, your left one. And then you'll kind of rock forward and back. Okay, it's very challenging, but if you interlace your right arm through your, your inner thigh, inner leg, you'll be able to rock back and forth. You'll feel this a lot in the core, because sometimes if you can't make it all the way up, you're pulling your core in. Good, a few more. Hmm. Last one, <laughs> and slowly release. Nice work, other side, left ankle to the right thigh. We're gonna go somewhere, I promise. Take your hands away from you, and then pull the chest through while you lift the gaze. I'm trying to appreciate and find this hip stretch on the left. Few more breaths. Flex the left foot, try to line up your right knee towards the right side chest. Okay, when you feel ready, no rush at all, you'll interlace your hands around your right shin, your left arm will thread inside, and then lean back, start to roll. And then remember, you don't want any weight onto your head or your neck. It's only massaging there through the entire kind of circle of your spine. Nice, Leslie, killing it. Good. Last one. And nice work. All right, take your feet together and then hold on to your knees. Start to find the cat seated cat cow. A few more here, just loosening up. And then we're taking it to our the full cow face pose. So starting with your right knee, cross it on top. So we did this in the beginning with the eagle legs. And then look at your knees, see if you can try to stack them. So left, right knee will try to be on top of the left knee. You could point your toes or you can leave them neutral. Inhale, lift the arms high. And then right here, this right elbow will bend. You'll bend your left and then put your hand underneath in the back. If it touches 
fingertip to fingertip, that's great. Otherwise, you'll just pretend that it's touching and then you keep your hands there. So either way, I want you to really touch your right thigh fully onto the left thigh if you can. Okay, keep breathing. Nose forward. And then slowly unwind. You'll cross forward and then find a fig or rather pigeon pose with this right leg in front. So finding your tall posture, try not to curl forward like we always do, just stay lifted. And feeling that hip stretch, tuck the chin slightly, see if you lean your head back what that does for the stretch, and then you'll slowly bring it in. Same side, same side, so right knee on top. Same side. All right, inhale the right, right arm again, and then take a hold of your left hand to wherever it is, your back or your fingertips. Look forward, breathe in, and then exhale any amount of lowering of the chest and belly to your leg. And then when you touch, so if your chest will touch your knee, then you'll lift the back of the head so you don't have any curling at that cervical spine. You're looking forward. So just breathing here, hopefully you're there. Look forward, try not to curl at your cervical. And then using that halfway lift strength we've been cultivating, guys. No touching the feet, reach the arms forward and lift the legs for your boat pose. Send the legs forward. Nice, good, good, good. And then maybe without hands, you'll just cross, then that left knee will go on top. If you need to assist your ankles, then do it. Is it a ball? We'll go to the same side, so left, or rather other side, left elbow on top, the right arm goes through and underneath. And like I said, it does not have to touch. It's not the priority here. As you do this, you want to try to keep a really long spine. So if you find yourself curling at your neck or at your thoracic spine, you have to release the hands. So just feel it out here. Good. Breathe there. And try to stack your knees. Try to bring your feet a little bit closer towards your thighs. And then you'll slowly inhale, circle the arms up, exhale forward. Then you'll go for that pigeon pose, that left leg will go forward, that right knee goes back. Stay upright again for this one. A few more breaths. Refine your pose, try to gain equal weight through the right and left leg and then see if your right foot is just straight behind you. And then slowly tuck the toes and bring it in. We'll return to that same side. So that left leg is on top. Bend our left arm overhead. The right hand will go behind. Full inhale. Remember it doesn't have to touch, especially for this one. Take a deep breath in, ribs in, yeah, a little bit, and then exhale. You'll start trying to lean forward with your rib cage, then perhaps the chest will make contact. Again, just keep looking forward here or looking neutral so that the back of the neck is long. Nice, inhale, slowly lift. No hands again, lift it up for your boat pose. Nice and strong. Okay, and then no hands again if possible. We did some frogs, plant the feet. Then rise up with no hands into your chair pose. Bring your feet together and then sit back. It takes a few different rocks to get up there. And 
Inhale, the arms back. And then exhale, stand up. Very good work. Find a back bend here, standing back bend. And then we'll take it up. Our final few poses here, standing up, hands to heart. We'll lift it up for tree. Right foot lifts first, arms overhead. And then in this kind of more tricky pose, we'll start to practice. So let the arms rest by your sides in tree. And we'll practice those neck kind of compression in. So tuck the chin a bit and neutral. Tuck the chin and neutral. So keep going. It's like you're kind of trying to sh to like squish that skin underneath your neck a little bit, but then your whole head stays upright. So a few more. So not chin to chest, but like lean back. Good. Try to practice that. It's a bit challenging. It'll help, it'll help your posture. And then we'll slowly release, then switch the left foot up, arms overhead. And then when you feel balanced, you'll let the arms go and then you'll work on the neck again. So this is again, facilitating, reversing all the hunching forward, leaning forward through the nose just trying to neutralize that curvature in the cervical spine, helping your posture as well. So make sure you're breathing, you're doing your reps here. All right, slowly release the foot, inhale the arms high, and then you'll hold onto your shoulders just like this with the fingertips and start to roll and circle your elbows out. Trying to see if there's any more kind of tension that you find. And then you'll go the other direction. So elbows back, side, forward, maximizing that range of motion. And then good. You'll slowly release, inhale, circle the arms up, and then exhale, swan dive down, bring it down your kind of forward fold here just to reset your spine. Maybe you want to cross your forearms behind your calves here. Take a few breaths. Lift those hips if you want. And then exhale lower down to your seat. One final thing before we stretch it out even more. So take the hands to your back or rather hands to the back space on the mat, <laughs> good. Lift the legs up to your boat. Okay, so remember you can always support yourself and then turn your fingertips to face your heels. Bend your, bend your elbows, lower down to your kind of like half boat position and then lift up. So yeah, good. You can bend your elbows, forearms to the ground, it's really hard, and then bring it up. A few more breaths. Full inhale, exhale, lift. Good, you guys. Lift, last one. Lift and then interlace your hands around your big toes. Extend those legs. Lean back, look at the top corner of the ceiling in front of you. Nice, that's awesome, that was really good. And then cross your knees into your chest. Take a few tuck and rolls, just massaging your whole spine. And then from here, we will plant your feet, plant your palms, and then lower the left knee back behind you as you find your right side half pigeon, or rather half splits, excuse me, before we lay down. So continuing to maintain this nice posture that we've built, lean the head back, bit of a tuck in the chin, even out your hips, flex your right toes. 
And then if you have any more space, you'd like to try full inhale and the exhale, bend your elbows to the sides. Inhale, the whole chest lifts. And then exhale, the whole chest lowers. Three more. Bend the right knee, plant the right foot, plant your palms, send the right leg up, just shake out your knee one way, the other, and then we'll go ahead and switch. So our right knee comes down, the left leg goes in front, you'll scoot your right knee back and then find the stretch there through that left leg for your half splits on the left side. Fingertips light onto the mat. And flex the left toes. Breathing there. Back of the head long. And then from here, you can add the bending of the elbows. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend. Good, two more. Hold here, lengthen a bit, tuck the chin, even out the hips, and slowly plant your left foot, plant the hands, and then send the left leg back. You can shake it out any amount. And then we'll slide the legs through, lay down. Nice, good work. Just one here, interlace the right arm underneath like eagle arms. Extend the legs out long. Good, take a deep breath in. On the exhale, slight crunch up. Easy your core, and then back, and then lift. So try not to use your neck, you're just using your upper abs. Last three, two, one. Good, hold it here, five, four, four, three, two, and one. Good, arms out to a T. Let your back of the arms rest on the floor. Okay, and then other side, so left elbow underneath, hold on to your shoulders behind you. Inhale, breath. Exhale, just use your core, not the neck. Lift, down, exhales, lift. Exhale, good, two more. Last one, hold, make sure you're lifted. And then let it go, good, arms out to a T. Okay, just like this, from here, you'll reach the right knee to the right side of your body and then take your supine twist, making sure both hands are connected to the floor for this one. Try to rest your right shoulder on the mat as well. Whatever it takes to kind of rest your entire right side back, not the hip, but the right side shoulder. Good, inhale center, legs down. And then keep the hands down again onto the mat. We'll lift up left knee. Exhale. Cross to your supine twist. Like I said, try to fully lay down onto the left side. Any amount of lift there in the knee. Good, bring it in. This time the right leg crosses over the left. Hold onto your calves or your ankles. And then from here, you can start to pull your legs a bit closer to you. Just feel it out. Make sure you're not hurting yourself. But if you're doing it correct, you'll feel it in the right side out of the hip. And then inhale, legs up the wall. We'll switch. That left knee crosses over the right. You'll hold on to your ankles, your calves. And then slowly unwind, feet down to the ground. We'll take one bridge just to even it up. 
interlace your hands behind you, underneath you, tuck the chin, point your knees forward, and then very slowly bring it down. One happy baby for spinal pose here. And then very slowly, we'll release. Find your Shavasana, legs out, arms by the sides. And remember that tucking the chin we've been working on. Just elongate the back of the neck. Imagine that I can push your shoulders down towards the mat and then towards your feet. So there's two motions, pushing the shoulders down to the mat, so trying to flatten it, and then lengthening your neck by pushing your shoulders away from your ears. Take that adjustment for yourself. And everything else will relax. Allow the face to be soft. Use your hands to oppose your feet. Palms up to receive, palms down to abandon. Some more breaths. And then from here, let's start to move your neck side to side, to the right, and then to the left. Just very slow, right? And then left. Good. Inhale, circle the arms up to the sky. Take a big stretch here. Hug your knees into your chest. Roll towards your left side. Sit up tall. And then hands to your knees. We'll just take a few gazes up and over one side, the other. And then one ear to the other. Just kind of gentle, slow. Inhale, reach the arms high, and exhale with that force, and then practice from my heart to yours. Namaste. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Let me tell you what happened.